I'm sure you've heard of a chocolate-covered banana, but have you ever tried a chocolate-covered pizzle? This was my absolute favorite fair food growing up. I don't know if this is just me, maybe I'm imagining something, but uh, this particular TikTok is giving me mad pedo f vibes. Okay? If you have children, you want to protect your children from this man. In the world of diet, there are many rabbit holes. Uh, people go down there and they never return to a healthy, balanced diet. I'm talking about extremes, such as only eating bananas, only drinking water, or in this case, only eating raw meat. Yes, you've heard it right. Today, we're going hunting for, and definitely not gathering, some carnivore TikToks. These are the best ways to cook a steak. These are the best way to cook a steak. Uh, he sounds like a really funny YouTuber or something. These are the best ways to cook a steak. First, we have the trusty sink steak. This doesn't take that long, and despite having no crust, it is actually very tender and juicy. What? And with a stick of butter, it's not that bad. Next up, we have the microwave steak, which is... How do you cook a steak in the sink? What? Like with hot water or something. How are you gonna waste so much water for just one piece of meat? Makes no sense to me. Also, is it weird that I find it absolutely repulsive to put a, a stick of butter on top of anything? I hate butter. And juicy, and with a stick of butter, it's not that bad. Next up, we have the microwave steak, which is basically the brother of the sink steak because they both have zero crust, but with a little bit of maple syrup, it wait, really wait, wait. ties the dish to. Maple syrup isn't meat. And he also has a banana on the table. I don't know, this guy is a fake carnivore. Now that I think about it, butter also isn't meat. Like, carnivore means uh, to eat flesh, you know what I'm saying? W what's up with all these foods? You are cheating, my dude. But with a little bit of maple syrup, it really ties the dish together. And my personal favorite way is the uncooked steak. And this is great for beginners because you really can't screw it up and it tastes amazing too. The uncooked steak. I told you, raw meat. There's people who actually eat raw meat. It's weird. I'm sorry, this just looks disgusting and I know it also tastes disgusting. Also news flash, humans aren't carnivores. We're like omnivores. I'm sure you've heard of a chocolate-covered banana, but have you ever tried a chocolate-covered pizzle? This was my absolute favorite fair food growing up. I don't know if this is just me, maybe I'm imagining something, but uh, this particular TikTok is giving me mad bed of <coughs> vibes, okay? If you have children, you want to protect your children from this man. This was my absolute favorite fair food growing up. I would get it every single time. All you need to do is boil and deep fry your pizzle. Be very, very careful. No. I find the pizzle likes to pop when you fry Ugh. it. And be careful, I hurt my eyes. Once you have two nice logs, all you're going to do is microwave some 100% dark chocolate and put it over... No, 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 no. Uh, cheating again. This, this is not meat. This is chocolate. Don't be afraid to pour liberally. Enjoy cold after two hours in the refrigerator. Let me know if you <sighs> like this. This is, uh, disgusting. A and very sus. It's just a weird, childish voice, like he's making cartoons for children. That is so inappropriate. These are my favorite healthy alternatives to some pretty common foods. First up, we have the BLT. Why would you ever eat bacon, lettuce, and tomato when you can eat bacon, lettuce, and testicles? My mom would always make this for me as a kid, and it was all- Why would you eat bacon, lettuce, and tomato when you could eat bacon, lettuce, and testicles? Yeah, every normal human being has testicles as part of their daily diet. Uh, I eat testicles at least four times a day. That's totally normal. My mom would always make this for me as a kid, and it was always a hit. Next up, we have Pizzle Runny Pizza, and you will never order Domino's again if you try this. This has the pigskin crust and a, obviously a bowl pee-pee pepperoni. This man loves the pizzle. Last up on our healthy alternative list is the PB&J, but it's not your standard peanut butter and jelly. It is your pineapple bowl testicle and jerky sandwich. This is super kid-friendly, and it's amazing, too, because they're going to feel so good after, as opposed to... Your, your channel isn't kids-friendly, my dude. I told you, if you have kids, protect them from this madman. I feel like he has a van. 
uh, and he serves uh, testicles in the van, if you know what I'm saying. And Pizzle. Also, I couldn't help but notice he is cheating again. There's a pineapple in there. Pineapple isn't meat. And it's amazing too because they're gonna feel so good after, as opposed to eating normal PB and J sandwiches. So let me, guys, let me know which one was your favorite. Guys, let me know which one was your favorite. Shut up! You're insane. Next up, we have a woman who is obsessed with eating steak and butter. She also claims that she is a carnivore. I don't know. Butter is made of milk. It's not meat, but okay. Date night as a carnivore is always an all-you-can-eat meat restaurant. This one in particular is all-you-can-eat Brazilian steakhouse called Fogo de Chao. We always order their picanha, and sometimes we exclusively order their picanha. And we get as much as we desire. Have you tried this? No, I have not tried this. I'm not a fan of uh, blood coming out of stuff. I don't, I don't know. I guess it's preference. Also, it seems that she does have a partner who is into the same diet, which is nice, you know, that, that that's nice. It's a very funny comment, uh, artery reveal, question mark. I don't know. Pretty sure that according to science, uh, yeah, eating only butter and steak would uh, clog up your arteries. And as somebody who had a massive blood clot once, I don't think I would ever put that stuff uh, in my body. Raw carnivore, what I eat in a day. Why am I getting shock factor vibes from all of these TikToks? Look at me, I'm so crazy and special, you can't look away. And I'm making money off of my TikToks, so uh, yeah. I don't know, do they really eat all of this stuff? I feel like they do, because people do a lot of weird things. Here's a 100% raw carnivore meal that I love to eat, sashimi. I had raw tuna, raw tuna belly, salmon, raw albacore, raw shrimp, squid legs, and gooey duck. Here's a 100% uh, So, uh, there's absolutely zero fiber in there. I think I'm seeing a little bit of vegetable there, something there is green. I'm not sure if she's gonna eat that, but, uh, you know, if you didn't know, humans need fiber to uh, go to the toilet. Pretty sure it's impossible without it. So if she still has the ability to uh, go to the toilet, uh, norm like a normal human being, uh, I'm pretty sure she eats other stuff as well. Like, I don't know, bread, rice, I don't know. This is one of my favorite high-fat carnivore meals to eat on chilly days. I absolutely love steak and butter, as my handle and name suggests, but as a side, having some delicious fatty oxtail, bone broth, and poached eggs is just delicious on chilly days. What are your favorite carnivore meals on chilly days? Look at the dog, he's just like, huh, oh, huh. Oh. Maybe he's scared that she's gonna eat him next. He's just like, mom's crazy, she, she needs to eat some carrots or something. Right here we have a, a carnivore, Apparently he's a doctor, I don't know, maybe he just claims that he's a doctor, but he explains his diet, so let's check it out. So an animal-based diet is organs mm. and meat, the most nutrient-rich foods for humans that I've ever seen, prized by hunter-gatherers throughout our evolution. Okay, so this guy claims to be a carnivore, but he eats an animal-based diet, which is technically an omnivore diet, like, hello? I'm not sure Mozart would approve of this. Foods for humans that I've ever seen, prized by hunter-gatherers throughout our evolution, clearly prized today. Organs and meat for protein and nutrients, and some animal fats. Dairy, preferably raw dairy, as an animal food that is nutritious for humans and a source of calcium and other unique nutrients. Eggs, animal foods, and then a carbohydrate source for humans from... Alright, carbohydrates. How are you gonna claim this diet is carnivore when you eat fruit? That's a lot of fruit, that's a huge uh, plate or table full of fruit. And honey. Those are plant foods, my dude. Fruit and honey, which I believe to be the least toxic sources of carbohydrates. So an animal-based diet is, succinctly put, organs, meat, fruit, honey, raw dairy. It's kind of just a term okay. that I've coined. Again, I want you to question these things and think for yourself and not just accept this as canon. Mm. But that's what I mean when I say an animal based diet. Okay, so here's a positive thing. I do like that he said, I want you to question the th these things. Again, talk and uh, just see what works for you. I, I think this is much better than just uh, 
you know, copying what somebody else claims is superior. Because we're all, like, like different. And, and we should all eat a balanced diet, not just meat. How could I talk about uh, the carnivore diet without mentioning the liver king? The king of livers, the devourer of, of raw meat, I don't know. Have you ever heard of this guy? Primal? <laughs> it's my Wednesday rest day, and every king does one thing always, and that's get cold! Liver King, out! He just uh, gracefully emerged out of the river. This man also claims that he uh, isn't using steroids. He just naturally looks like this. Yeah, sure. Primal need to know how hard Liver King Chef Lionel works on Saturday. I'm Liver King Chef Lionel, and there's nothing better than a good puto in your mouth. Today we're gonna have three types of putos. We're gonna have a sweet puto. We have a jerk puto. This will have a nice jerk seasoning on the outside. And of course we have our liver puto. How much did he pay this chef? He had to practice this. I bet he doesn't even believe in all of this. It's just to pay the chef. Because this liver guy, he's uh, rich, you know? With every dinner, we're going to have our raw testicles, raw bone marrow, and raw liver. Because that's going to kick ass in life. Yeah, it's definitely physically impossible to kick ass in life unless you eat raw testicles. Scientifically impossible. Don't be a little puto and get yourself a bottle of thing. Doesn't have everything on this plate. With every Filipino feast, we gotta have a lechon. This will be a whole roasted pig, stuffed with some bell peppers, garlic, onion, and some ginger also. To accompany this feast, we're gonna have one of my personal favorite dishes. This is gonna be chicken adobo. It's gonna be fresh chicken. And who's gonna eat all of this? Like an entire village. We're gonna have some grilled beef. This is gonna have a Korean style marinade due to the fresh. Look at all of this rice. People claim to be carnivore, yet look at all of this rice. And to bring everything together, we have some white rice and some fresh fruit also. Oh, uh, okay. White rice and fresh fruit. The most raw carnivore foods I know. We're of course going to have our dessert, the Liver King Bar, now in chocolate. That's what we're having for dinner tonight. And make sure to buy his uh, bar that he uh, sells. Definitely not profiting from it. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I'm gonna go eat an apple right now. See you in the next video. Peace out.